Hey, what's up guys? Mincy here back again with another video and today I am bringing you a much requested updated guide for Rampart when it comes to her tactical, the Amped Cover. Now, before we get into it, please leave a like, pop a sub, comment down below any tips I do not mention in this video. I'm gonna try to keep it quick and concise, so I'm not gonna include everything here. And keep in mind, I will have all of my previous guides linked down below. Most of that info is still up to date, but I want to make an up-to-date guide with the perk changes in particular for Season 20 here right now. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now here are the basics of the amped cover. Now right here, obviously you can't shoot through this end. It's going to block a certain amount of damage until it's broken. Now the bottom half takes way more damage. So there's a full legendary clip and now it's finally broken. So a rule of thumb with Rampart, when, when you're cover. facing other Ramparts, which you will after this new uh, season change, which we'll get into, this part will almost always be easy to bust out, but usually, very rarely, is it worth it to shoot out the bottom of this. Because while you're shooting the bottom, they can be shooting you. Now, as far as being on the other side of it with the amp cover, you need to keep that in mind as well. So make sure you're crouching. You're not always just standing here still behind your cover because this cover can get blown out at any time. So you kind of want to snake the amp cover as you're playing. Just in case it gets blown out, you're already pretty much covered. So just keep that in mind. Now, with the amp cover specifically, learn the timing that it takes for this to get fully extended. Because this has full health when it's fully extended, but until then, it has way less health and it's easier to shoot out. So if it gets shot out while it's getting put up, look how much quicker that is shooting out the base. So keep that in mind too. Now, with the buffs that Rampart has received as of recently or within the past few seasons, these amped cover walls set up so much faster and they're actually pretty viable in the midst of fights occasionally. So say uh, I'm expending my bullet and I only have like six bullets left, I get the bullets in on him and as I'm reloading, that split second decision in every context matters. And as a Rampart main, the more you play, the more you'll get a feel for when to utilize this. But don't be afraid to just put down an amp cover and then start reloading and shooting. Cause now they have to make the decision, do I shoot it out early and then shoot them? Or do I just try to get, uh, get them above the amp cover before it fully uh, extends, if that makes sense. So it kind of uh, breaks your opponents like thoughts or their methods or their strategy mid fight. And you have to give them another decision that again, makes more of a chance of them making a mistake. So as you're moving around, don't be, don't, don't be afraid, just put it down. And sometimes, and you guys will see this in gameplays and a lot of the shorts I post, I will do this very often. And this will take some shots and save my life and allow me to clutch. So do not be afraid to use these in fights. Previously, I would have advised against it uh, only in very rare instances, but now I would say 50% of the time, you can put this in the middle of a fight and it's gonna be useful in some way, especially if it's just playing mind games with your opponent. Now, using these in fights also can be in preparation for engagements. So you wanna use these, don't be a typical rampart and just like box yourself in and just use these as something to camp behind. That is really restricting the amount of usefulness you can get out of Rampart. Use them as points of interest to like do like go between. So right here, if I'm pushing an enemy, set one up. Let my teammates use the ones that I've already set up behind me and keep on progressing in a zigzag pattern towards your opponent. And then if you start losing a fight and need to reset, you have points of interest to go back towards and retreat from. So it, it's kind of useful, but that the also the opposite needs to happen where say you're using these and you've pushed up, you want to fight all the way up here. You need to learn when to break down your walls too. And this is a very situational thing. I'm not going to tell you when to break down your walls, but if you're officially exiting an area and you know you will be, you want to break down your walls as you're exiting an area because we know that third parties, fourth parties, a million parties will happen and you don't want to be having your walls get used against you. But a tip with your walls is you can have a certain amount of walls out and then once the maximum is hit, 
then you can place another wall and the oldest wall will be retracted. So keep that in mind if you forget to place a wall and you have more than the maximum walls afforded to you already out, then just place a wall where you're at and it might retract the one that people are behind, which is super fun to do on them. They get caught with their pants on the ground. It's also important to keep in mind that when you're in dire need of healing, you are usually hugging your walls for dear life, especially this bottom portion, because like I said, they rarely get blown out. Now, if you're looking this direction, you can still get shot. So say someone's right here on the same level of, as you, this guy, this guy's perspective, he can still get some shots on the very tippity top of your head if you're healing like this, believe it or not. And especially if they're on that height, such as this guy right here, he's going to be able to beam you through your wall after this gets busted out and uh, just light you up. So it's important to get in the habit of when they have a little bit of distance on you, it's good to always check, but look straight down while you're popping a cell or a battery or a syringe or whatever, and this prevents that problem from happening, at least if they're on the same level as you. Now, it improves the chance chances of you surviving someone who's at a higher height than you, but just keep that in mind, get in the good habit of looking down when you're really desperate and you're about to die and you're needing to pop a cell, look straight down. With amped walls, you can also utilize them for movement. Now, I'm my my uh my movement guide, my rampart movement guide. Again, the link in the description down below is still a hundred percent factual and accurate. So I'm not going to include this here. But you can super glide and uh, super glide and super slide off of this part here. So the mantle right here. You can, you can jump off of it super far and you can slide off of it super far, giving you momentum so you always have movement tech available to you as long as you have walls down. And you might as well learn that as a Rampart main because you're always gonna be using walls. So check out that guide for more info on that one, but just be aware of it. And don't stress too much if you don't know that yet. Uh, that's just for some added flair and for some added mobility. It's not integral, but it helps. Now onto some more aspects of amped cover. When it comes to amped cover, this can help you climb to higher spots. For instance, say a door is blown out or whatever and you can't reach the, the top of the building. This allows you to climb on top of it and get to heights that normally your opponents are not going to be aware of that you can get to, which is super helpful. Now, one of the most obvious things is blocking doors. I'm not gonna run over there to demonstrate it, but here's a door. You can use these to block doors and play indoors. So Rampart thrives indoors. Uh, be, mainly because of the combination of her abilities, but mainly because of the amped cover. You can use it to block people inside or block people outside and never be afraid to double up. Now, this is going to kind of dip into Sheila, even though this is a tactical only diet guide. Always put this down. If you want to shoot down a door, feel free to add that extra layer of protection, especially if you feel like your opponent isn't going to bail as soon as you place a wall. Put it down and then start blasting down the door with Sheila because that will be integral too. When it comes to walls, you can kind of use them as a decoy as well. So think of Mirage and how Mirage sends out a decoy in that direction or whatever. He is constantly bamboozling his opponents and making them look elsewhere. With Rampart walls, obviously with this glaring red part on the amped cover, it's going to attract attention. And you can use that to your, uh, your, your, uh, your uh, advantage if you want to. So your opponent's naturally going to be at least looking in this direction if not shooting it out i'd say like 75 percent of the time the opponents if they see a amped wall and they know you're in that general vicinity they're just going to try to shoot it down instantly now you can use this to your advantage by doing this so say you're over here and the, the opponent's right there place an amped wall and then quickly move to a different location especially if you can remain hidden while repositioning and then use your re reposition while they're focusing on your wall and beam them from a different angle so just be aware that you can do that too and use these as distractions and it blows my mind that people still focus on a wall when no when they don't even see anyone behind it it's pretty nuts now we are going to be delving into the new season 20 perks and how that alters how you play around walls specifically. There was a huge buff 
to Amped cover with this change. Now we're gonna be looking at it now. Amped reloads, faster reloads with Sheila and Amped cover. Now a lot of people slept on this initially, but I think a lot of people are figuring it out that this is absolutely crazy. So let's upgrade to that. And so we're gonna place this and now I'm gonna empty a clip right here. Reload. And that's how fast it was. Now, now that I'm behind amped cover, now this top part has to be extended still. If it gets busted out, this does not count. I'm gonna empty a clip right here. Look how fat, how much faster that is. That is nuts. Like the 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 quickness that you can reload. Look at that. Crazy. Now I'm gonna demonstrate. So if it's if it's broken out, it's back to that slow reload. However. Here's the main tip that I have for you when it comes to the tactical. Now you can place a wall here and watch. So even though it's on the side and my opponent would have to reposition over here to bust out that top, this is what they see. I'm behind here. I pour out, say I'm clutching. Look, I still get that reload. I still get that reload buff. I can put it behind me even. As long as I'm within a general vicinity and it's right next to me and I'm on this side of it, then I am good to go. So I'm just sitting right here. Boom. So especially if you place it behind you, it's always nice to have some behind cover. So start getting in the habit of placing maybe one or two, especially if you use this perk. Put Place one right behind you so no matter what, your opponent will literally have to go all the way around you to bust out that wall and take away that perk from you because they're just going to be shooting through it. This is a crazy buff. Rampart's tacticals have literally never been in a better spot than right now. And I don't know if they're going to nerf this or not. It is still situational. You need walls extended, and as soon as it's busted out, it, you're, you're out of luck. But this is a crazy change for Rampart. Utilize these walls like this. Um, but yeah, those are all of the things. So just to kind of nutshell everything, Learn the timing of how long this takes to fully extend. Make sure that you can also utilize them in the middle of fights to maybe tank a few bullets for you or make your opponent think through a new decision that they weren't expecting and allow them to fumble or fail with that and make a mistake. Also, use it to climb up to higher spots. You can also utilize movement, power slides, power glides. You can use it to block doors. You can use it to block people in or trap people indoors or keep people out. You can use this for that new perk so that you can reload super fast whenever you have Sheila on cooldown, for instance, and be able to clutch more than ever when people are pushing you behind your wall. If you have been debating on getting good with Rampart, this is the season to do it. I have seen more Ramparts this season than ever before in the game, but Ramparts are still sucking. I won't even lie. I do enjoy beating a Rampart. I won't even lie. You guys have seen me post videos of where I'm like, get off my main or all of that jazz. But I am trying to give you guys the tools to get good with Rampart. Now, I'm not the best Rampart main, but I think I've had enough time to know what I'm talking about, and I hope this guide helped you guys out. But again, before we leave, please leave a like, pop a sub, comment down below any tips of your own. Let's get a discussion going and get like a huge guide underneath this video. The more knowledge, the better, especially with so many new Rampart mains coming to the game. I appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video. I hope you're staying safe and take it easy.